Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Adam with Monterey Nipte Federos, and I've got a really interesting program for you today. We are going to be camping outside tonight. It is New Year's Eve 2017. It is the coldest it's been in a century. The gear I will be using will be Marine Corps issue gear. Marine Corps two-man tent, Marine Corps sleeping system, isomat. I will be using a personal little mat in there. I have a poncho liner, um, a few other things that you'll see later in the video, um, but not much. Like literally, I'm camping out tonight like I would be in the field, which is the purpose, or the purpose of this is that I want to test my Christmas present. Thanks mom, thanks dad. Uh, it is a portable buddy by Mr. Heater. This thing can crank out 4,000 or 9,000 BTUs using uh, one pound propane tanks. And it should be good for six or seven hours and the idea, uh, or that is a perfect time using that tank because uh, normally we go to bed about 10, 11 p.m. at night when we're out in the field, unless we're doing night patrols or um, training with night vision, something like that. And then we get up uh, around 6 a.m. whenever the sun comes up. Uh, but usually you could say 5 or 6 a.m. is a good estimate for when we get up. So in theory, this thing should crank all night, keep me nice and warm, and then I can wake up after actually having gotten a decent night of sleep instead of freezing um, and just being miserable uh, all night long and uh, be ready to uh, attack the day and do whatever training I need to get conducted. Now, the next part of the video is going to be me assembling the tent. Uh, it was a, it was kind of a nightmare, uh, as you'll see. It took me about 20 minutes to do, but uh, I sped it up, and you'll get to uh, what's going to happen tonight is me bedding down, telling you how cold I am and how much I hated this decision, and then hopefully the next part after that will be me waking up feeling somewhat decent um, at like six in the morning and going inside uh, to warm up, have a cup of coffee before I take the tent down. Otherwise, I'll get up at like 3 in the morning, freezing my butt off, come inside, crying like a little girl. Yeah, that, that, that could be a thing. It's going to be cold. But anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, I hope you like the content that's going to be in here because uh, th this was a, a really fun project for me.
Hey guys, uh, it's about 10.30 at night. It's negative nine degrees outside. Just got in the tent, cranked uh, this bad boy onto, onto high to get the chill out. It's been on for maybe a minute or so. Um, I'm already about to turn it down to low. Um, now the propane tank that I had, uh, I have two of them. I have one full one, the one I have using right now, it's been on for about two and a half hours. Um, in a prior use so we'll uh we'll probably have to change that tank in about three and a half four hours um but you know i'm in here i'm i'm cozy for the night it's warming up so uh i think everything's good all right guys so it's uh, about 12 30 in the morning um and it's negative 13 degrees outside and the first tank is now uh, died, so that means uh, I got about five and a half uh, hours out of one tank. And so we're going to go ahead and put on the uh, next tank. And no, if you're wondering, I have not gone to bed yet. I've just been chilling on my phone the whole time. So, <laughs> all right. So I just got the uh, the thing back up and running. So we're uh, getting nice and toasty again. Uh, so what I noticed is that actually, uh, when the thing's getting low on fuel, um, it starts sputtering a little bit, and it's definitely not as uh, <laughs> definitely not as warm. Um, so I'm cranking this thing back up to uh, to high again, uh, just to to get the cold air out because uh, <laughs> it's negative 13 outside. It is no joke. It is not um uh not warm <laughs> uh another thing that i kind of noticed that was interesting is uh you can see that ice has uh formed all over the bottom of this uh propane tank and um one of the things i was reading is that uh these propane uh heaters one of the uh one thing that happens when you're using a, pro a propane heater is the, the propane will actually create moisture inside your tent. And there actually are some icicles around the corners. Um, so that's, that's kind of something interesting to note. You can get a little dampness in here, but uh, is what it is. And one thing to note too, you know, I just want you guys to think about ventilation. So I have kept this little bit open right maybe you can see that and over here i've kept that open the other side door open so that uh you know it stays well ventilated in here because we don't want to have uh, carbon monoxide uh poisoning now these uh these have a low oxygen sensor and they shut off in the event of that but uh it, you know it's just easier to uh keep these things open you know and have a little bit of assurance. Hey guys, it's uh, 4.55 a.m. Um, negative 16 degrees outside and the heater is done. Um, so with, uh, with that, um, I'm gonna go inside. Looks like uh, we have tested this thing and now I know what it's uh, good, good for. I'm going to bed.